Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing out there today? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Glad to hear that. Thank you so much, my live studio audience. Uh, I, I have to make this important distinction before we begin the show. Others have come before us. Others will come after us. But this is the last talk show. Clap it up. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's yet again a wonderful, uh, magical, no pun intended, episode of the show because to the right of me, I have two very talented, wonderful, fun individuals who are ready to analyze the culture like never before. Would you please clap it up for Alyssa and Riley. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So excited to have them on the show. Before we dive in and analyze the culture, I want them to give brief intros to themselves. Let's start with Alyssa. Alyssa, tell the viewer about you. Um, basically, um, I just started coming here from Alabama. I nice. drove here. Wow. Um, 32 hours. Oh, so. kind of a long drive. Man, man. <laughs> Super fun. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. liked it. Get to see the states. Um, yeah, I got That's to amazing. go around and drive around and see a lot of states. Right. And um, I'm a model, actress. Nice. Just started up. Yeah. Clap it up for Alyssa. Clap it yeah. up. Talented from Alabama. I can't wait to go. Uh, amazing. Wonderful. And whew, the magic man came back. So, so I didn't... I, Riley, give us an intro before I before I lose myself. My name's Riley, and I'm a magician, and that's it. Clap it up, <laughs> Riley keeps it short and sweet. That's why we had him back. And that's why we had him back. So I'm so excited to have Alyssa and Riley ready to analyze the culture. Now, before we begin, Riley started us off with a trick, and I believe we should uh, get started off with a oh. trick once again. So, Riley, uh, what you got for us, my man? And this is not scripted. Alyssa, oh, this is not scripted. He, he knows what well, It's he all knows. real. He knows this what is he knows. It's real what? deal. You guys are oh. not in <laughs> You guys are, I've... I met you before. You met me before. But I didn't pay you off to. Like, you didn't pay me off. No, he did. I wish he paid okay. me off. I'm <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I wish he paid me off. All right, Riley. Okay. Uh, Get a deck of cards. Get ready, ready for our camera work, Malik. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take the mask. Place it on. Mm. CDC, clap. All right, Biden. Okay. I'm sure you're happy about that. Clap that up. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, hopefully, you can see. These cards are all yeah, uh, pretty like regular different. Deck. Regular Bicycle, regular. it's a great brand. It's a yeah, great brand. it's the uh, standard <laughs> for magicians. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to do. Can you tell me when to stop when I go like that? All right. Sure, yeah. Mm, stop. Wait, sorry, you went to, to the top there. <laughs> Here you go. Stop. Okay, that's somewhere near the middle, all right? Somewhere. I'm going to do the slow motion, bring it right there. So your car will be on top. Just take a peek at it. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm a peek. A peek. Yeah. Camera got yeah, it. Camera. Okay. Camera. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cut it to the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's legit. So your card's not on top or anything, right? No. Mm -hmm. no that's mm -hmm. not on that bottom. Is, that is definitely not it. <laughs> okay. This is what I want you to do. Um. Can you put out your hands? Hopefully, you can get a shot right. of this. All right, let's get a shot of this. Oh, okay, what was the card that you saw? That you what was the card? Yeah. Yeah. Am I supposed to tell you? Yeah. Five of diamonds, five? right? Yeah, yeah five, five of diamonds. diamonds. I like your shoes. Great. Th let's get those <laughs> shoes. And now back to the cards. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Riley. No, that, that was the misdirection. That was the misdirection. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put the cards like this. You tell me when you see that five of, not hearts, but diamonds, right? Indeed. Indeed. Okay. I'm going to go kind of fast so we don't. Sit here all day. Okay. Hey, man, it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, don't oh, let him fall. Oh, don't let him fall. Oh, He'll no. get stabbed and impaled on your cool shoes. <laughs> oh, yes. Plug in those shoes. <laughs> okay. Hey, Alyssa, he's got a lot of cards. Here. I know. There's supposed to be 52. At the end of the deck yeah. over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. That's <laughs> not it. There's no five diamonds, right? Oh, my God. This is a lot of exercise. Oh, my God. <laughs> Riley, watch your back, Riley. That's. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. My oh, what? So there's nothing up the sleeves, nothing up my broken arm or anything like that. Oh, snap. Is oh. your arm really broken? Yeah, it's shorter, too. Okay, oh. that's more misdirection in the mask. <laughs> oh, my God. There's nothing here, but if there's a pocket in here, go like this, and then five of diamonds what? in the mask. What? Cla <laughs> clap, clap, y'all. What? <laughs> The man is. Wait, wait, I'm Riley. Riley, what? Is that is that is that That's legit? 
Clap, clap it up for Ryan. I mean, I, what am I supposed to say? It's magic, folks. I'm not supposed to understand. Riley, man, I, that's a great way to start the show. Oh, my okay. gosh. Me and Alyssa, uh, our minds are blown, but let's dive into analyzing the culture so we can <laughs> blow our minds even more. Uh, cultural analysis. Cultural analysis. This is where we look at tweets, posts, random things that people t uh, tweet and post online, and we try to gain a better understanding of Ooh. it to see how the world functions and operates. Mm. Uh, pretty straightforward. We'll dive right in. Late night car rides, windows down, and music so loud you can't hear your own thoughts. Talk it up. Now, Alyssa just said she did a cross-country trip, Alabama to here. Did you do any late night car rides? Oh, for sure, all the time, yeah. Clap it up. D don't you love a late night car ride? Oh, yeah. Now, this tweet isn't loaded with too many jokes or anything like that. I just truly, personally love a late night car ride. Riley, what about you, my man? Do you like a late night car ride? I don't really like driving. But mm. when I didn't have a car, I wanted to drive. And then when I got the car, I don't want to drive anymore. Mm, I get that. But, uh, I get that. <laughs> Mainly when you got to pay for gas, insurance, yeah. registration, all that mess. Breaks your heart. Yeah, but I listen to music in the car. It's great. Yeah, listen to the, yeah. What about the windows down? I know it's L.A. Yeah. smog. Yeah. In Alabama, yeah. I'm sure the weather was hot. L.A. Oh, yeah. Do you feel a difference with the smog? Oh, big difference. Breaks big difference. Yeah. I didn't even know what smog was when I came here. Gosh, look like, at how terrible we are. L.A., get yourself together. Uh, yeah, I do love <laughs> when you just moved here. So it's a good, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, but yeah, I do love a good late night car ride. It's always wonderful. Uh, this tweet. A 187 retweet, so I feel a good amount of people can relate to this because who doesn't like a late night car ride? Clap it up for late night car rides. So I just wanted to get started off with that. We're about to get a little more uh, spicy. Uh, breaking news from the New York Times. Astronomers have found a potential sign of life in the clouds of Venus, a planet long overlooked in the search for extraterrestrial life. Do aliens exist? Yes. Alyssa. I'm yes. an alien. Straight, you're an alien. I'm an alien. Straight up. Gotta be straight okay. up about okay. it. Okay, okay. Now, how are you sure that aliens exist? Is it because you exist? Break it down for me. I believe that we're not the only life source here, you mm, know? Okay. Um, so, I mean, when I was in seventh grade, I actually had a theory that there was another planet Earth. Mm. And then apparently they found another one not too long ago. So. Oh. I believe that we have it in our systems to know that there's other living beings in another place. Clap it up. Clap awesome. it up. Hey, if I, we're going to dive a little deeper into this. That was good, though. That was good, Riley. Astronomers, um, potential sign. What do you think? I'm really into this type of stuff. Mm. Last time I was talking about dog man. You did talk about dog man. So, <laughs> I like aliens, too. Yeah. I'm all into that stuff. Okay. I could do magic to aliens for a video, that'd be great, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it'll impress them, but right, they true. should be real, you know. They should be real. Yeah. Now, but would you double down, like Alyssa said, and say, yes, aliens are real? I mean, I'd say 100%, but there could be also fake aliens out there, you know what I mean? Now, what fake kind of fake aliens, aliens are, we, are we talking about oh. us, but we put a mask on and, oh, I'm talking about, like, holographic projections in the sky of UFOs, mm. you know, like a, like a blue beam scenario, you know what I mean, and then everyone's like, there's aliens, but they're all fake, it's just like, you know, that Disney show with the water and the... It's all like government, yeah, kind of. You think, yeah, the government blue. would Maybe. play that out to pull yeah. people into thinking. But why? But see, here. that's what I'm saying. But why? Because this is the New York Times. <laughs> they got a blue badge next to their name. So for the New York Times to tweet it, I'd like to think they're a credible source, just for the purposes of this. Sh no, Riley, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, I would like to believe that they're giving us some sort of facts. I mean, they just if, found gas. You know. But couldn't that also? Because some people were like, "Oh, there's water on Mars." Blah blah blah. So yeah. couldn't that lead to? Life. To things? life, yeah, to, life? to something. To something. Some to something. We don't know. Gosh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I just get so excited because I personally do not believe aliens exist. I just really? don't see it. Because what do they look like? Are they looking like the little green men? Are they looking like men in black? Are they looking like Independence Day? Are they looking like? They could look almost like us. You never know. So would that be like a Superman kind of thing? Sort of, yeah. A Superman would be. Clap it up for them. I, I love alien talk because it allows people to think outside of the box. Uh, 
by Nova Aural Day, whatever that means. Do I really have a crush or am I just desperate to be loved so whenever I get affection, I cling on to it and become unhealthily obsessive until I drift from that person again and again back my senses, gain back my senses? It's the latter. That's a really loaded tweet. That's probably trying to utilize all the characters. Uh, let's start with Riley. Riley, can you... Is this just too much for you? I don't understand what is even happening. What is even happening? <laughs> I, it's, it, and I think that's why I only got five retweets, because you don't want to retweet that, and it's like, I don't even know what the brother's talking about. Uh, Alyssa, what, can you discern what they're trying to say? Oh, they're just trying to say that they really like that person, and that maybe they just want love because it's been a while, so they, they can't, they don't know. So they would have to discover it for themselves to go for it. Clap it up. Let's they discover should go for it. love. Yeah, and, and that's true. <laughs> and, I, and I totally get this person. I just feel at a certain point, it, you don't need to be that desperate. De just desperate to be loved. So whenever I get affection, I cling on to it. We should mm -hmm. learn to properly balance. Mm -hmm. Like the, when we get affection, like to treat like, okay, maybe I shouldn't overhype this. Because mm -hmm. like, for example, if someone goes on a date, first time, oh, I love you on the first date. Like, hold up here. Riley, isn't that a little... That's a little too extreme. A little too extreme on the first date. Uh, what would you say, Alyssa, or do you think it could be warranted? I think anything's extreme. So I you think don't think or do? I don't. I think oh. it could be. You think it could be fitting? Maybe. I you love that. Know. Clap it up. So, so if you're getting to know the person, I, I just feel like, say, first, uh, first dates, a lot of people can say stuff that isn't really true. So like, say they, oh, yeah, I have this million dollar home, blah, blah, blah. And then they, you love them then, then you go to the house. <laughs> You got a Quentin Tarantino thing going on. Mm -hmm. But I don't, you know, I just, I, I do know, let's go to the next one, man, before I start <laughs> crying about my crushes and stuff. Uh, the next category of our show is, what does that even mean? And this is where we look at some of the most popular sayings from today or from back in the day, and we try to make sense of them. Because some people say stuff and I don't even know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go to the first, uh, what does that even mean? Miss me with that. People will say, man, I ain't going to the mall. I'm not going to church. I'm not going to miss me with that. Let's start with Riley. Riley, miss me with that. What does that even mean? Um, I don't want to be involved in that activity or thing. Am I sitting next to Miriam Webster? I mean, he, he used that. That was pretty good. I don't want to be involved. Alyssa, what do you think? What does that even mean? I get what he said. What basically just like, Miss me with that? Like, don't. <laughs> don't like forget that. I'm out of that. Forget that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, clap that up. That that makes basic sense, I guess, in the context that I often hear it in. But I'm wondering, how do you think that came about? Why Why wouldn't people just say, forget that? Do we always have to be so fancy and try to? Yeah. Just to make something it something different. Yeah. Something different. Clap it up for something different. Something different. Yeah. B b make it unique. Make it special. Miss me with that. I. Are there certain things that you want people to miss you with? Oh. So if someone presented you with something, oh, let's go to this restaurant. What restaurant would you want to get missed with? Oh. Riley? Red Lobster. I, I, I swear someone was gonna say Red Lobster. I swear I had that in, inclination. Why, Riley? I don't eat meat or fish, so oh. I can't really eat there unless they have some biscuits or something, but that's not fun to go oh. to a restaurant to eat those. What is the biscuits? James, do the biscuits kind of slap with Red Lobster? He's never been to, I can take you to Red Lobster. I'm a terrible person. Uh, Alyssa, have you arrived at a restaurant that would be like, miss me with that? Never, actually. So I love whatever. food. Thank Any you. kind of Clap food. it up for Alyssa. Me and Alyssa Everything. on the same page here. You take me to Red Lobster. Because, Riley, if I <laughs> took you to Red Lobster, you'd at least get some biscuits, right? Yeah, because I know they have those there because I've made them at home from a box that said it was from Red Lobster. Yes. So I'm assuming that they have it there. Yeah, I, I believe they do. <laughs> they, they are pretty darn good. They really are. Clap it up for Red Lobster. Well, partially clap it up for Red Lobster since you're kind of in the way there. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Does that even mean? Uh, this term, janky. Uh, I know people <laughs> of all, hey, hey, all colors, codes, and creeds that use the term janky. Malik, it's true. I know people that use the term janky. I want to know what does that even mean. Alyssa, what does janky even mean? To me, it kind of means like, oh, that's 
nasty. Like, that's janky mm. to me, I guess. Could yeah. you give me a context? Oh. I'm really trying to make sense of it. Me with this hair and this suit, I just, I'm trying to dig deeper. <laughs> what does janky mean? Um, I guess like this stanky. darn young man just said my shoes, Alyssa. Oh, I'm gonna fire him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're 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 but not in my glitter. good graces right now. Riley, an example of janky. I'm not happy with. The um, like uh, this card is janky because it's bent and not able to be, you know, used in a Texas Hold'em game in Las Vegas. God, but up. Okay. So, okay, so janky. you're saying janky is when something is not... It's broken. It's, it's broken. Sketchy, too. Sketchy, too. So, and Alyssa, you're saying janky is more, you said, like, nasty. <laughs> would, it be, would it be, like, like the food that one of your, the people you know it just didn't taste that good? Would you say the food is janky, or is that... I guess so, yeah. Could say that. More of that, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Janky, man. <laughs> I will tell you this right now. The last talk show is not janky. <laughs> hey, live, studio, live studio audience, are you there? Uh, they didn't even come. Let's go to the next step. We're the show. I'm very not happy with the live studio audience right now. Uh, it's not janky. Uh, if you could, this will be... Uh, oh, you know what? How dare I not have Riley perform another trick? He's so talented, oh, so yeah. uh, illustrious. Hit That's me with something, that. Riley. I mean, Alyssa, need to see some magic. I need to. I'm ready. Um, it, I need, need to see on. some magic in Guaranteed. my life. Blue here. Um, <laughs> yes, me too. This is like just a pre-magic thing. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. Both gets the the COVID away, you know, and then. No, we could do are a magic okay? trick. <laughs> are, we, are we going to? I'm gonna slide over. I see it. You okay, Riley? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'm a professional. I guess he uh, <laughs> sticks to your bones. Sticks to yeah, your bones. Yeah, bone is. Okay. Oh my goodness. We got um, a deck Are of you cards. okay, Riley? Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna ask you that. I'm gonna keep coming. Down. I wanna make sure you're healthy. It's all good. Uh, Malik, did we get that in, in the show? Okay. I think I he's prone now. Uh, yeah. He's prone I, I, to it now. Yeah. I'm all right. Magician. All right. Oh. Okay. I've got a bunch of cards. They're in order here. Okay, are you okay now? No, I'm not going to cut you off again. I'm sorry. I just got to make... Okay. Hopefully you can get a shot. Bring it down for me. Yeah, Malik, let's get the shot of the cards. Oh, oh. We're going to take a quick commercial break. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. Thank you. She got me in quarantine. She won't let me leave. She got me in the house. And she won't let me All right, and we're back from the commercial break. Clap it up for the last talk show, folks. So we're back, and Riley was just about to hit us with an amazing trick. Riley, let's <laughs> resume. Okay, I have a bunch of cards that are in order here. Right. Would you just name out any card you see going by? Let's see, uh, Queen of uh, Clubs. <laughs> are you sure? Are we sure with that? We're going to go with that? Okay, okay, let's go with that. that. Let's go with yeah. that. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I have a little stick figure guy here, okay? Am I good at drawing or no? Yeah, you're pretty good. Okay. I, I'd say clap it up for Riley's drawing abilities, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, looks good to me. What I got is a little animation. Okay. Oh. Hopefully you get a good shot of this. Yeah. He takes off his hat. You see that? Ooh. He's a little stick man. Alyssa, can you see that? Yeah. Can we try? Yeah, I want Alyssa to see the... Oh, my God. Look, he's Whoa. looking at the card. Wow. And then the card you picked was the... I did pick the queen of uh, clubs. <laughs> I, I, I did, clap it yeah. up. I'm still shocked. Put this for the thumbnail. <laughs> I was shocked, I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, if you could. Hey, this is the last talk show. We grow together, we love together. Clap it up, clap it up for the last so talk show. Great. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, I'm not perfect. You, want, you don't want to see what's under me. If you could. Now this is the final category of our show. If you could, this is where we uh, put ourselves in the shoes of a certain situation. And mm -hmm. imagine if we were in a certain place at a certain time, what would we do? If we could, what would we do? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the first, if you could. If you could date any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, come on, give me some. Ooh. 
That's exactly why I should be on Tom Fleet. Alyssa, let's start with you. If you could date any celebrity, who would it be? Margot Robbie. Ah, oh, clap it up yeah. for Margot. She is, she's a bad mamma jamma. Um, gosh, she's a wonderful actress, too. Oh, yeah. Gosh. But let's see why. why. Why'd you pick Margot over the others? Because she's a badass. Mamma Jamma, she is. <laughs> she is. She is. She is. What is? Uh, let's go. Well, let's go to Riley. Riley, if you could date any celebrity, who would it be? None of them. None of them. I don't want to date any celebrity. <gasps> and why would you say that, my dear? Um, number one, I have a girlfriend, and number Clap it two, up. he's a loyal man. Wow. Yeah. Loyal. <laughs> loyal. I, loyal. I, I don't. I don't care about like famous people or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. You know, Margot Robbie's probably great at acting. <laughs> she could do Harley Quinn moves and all that. Grab it up for Riley. It's true. It's true. And I kind of get what he's saying there, because celebrities have this sort of, eh, about them. You know, maybe mm. some are narcissistic. Some are probably humble people. And Margot Robbie probably being one of them. But a lot of narcissistic, conceited, all that terrible stuff. But I will ask, what is your favorite Margot Robbie film, Melissa, mm. since you chose The Young Lady? Hmm, I would say The Wolf of Wall Street. She was hot, hot oh, performance, yeah. yes. Did you like her <laughs> as Harley Quinn? Did she succeed as Harley Quinn? Um, I think she succeeded more than mm. anything, like more than succeeding. Like yeah, she, was she just, just killed it. She, she killed did, She. I think she was born for that role, right. honestly. Clap it up, clap it up for Margot. It was not a janky role. <laughs> I'm trying to help, I'm trying to understand what janky means. Uh, I do want to go back to Riley, Riley, say, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of a celebrity that you could. I just don't care about these celebrities. You just at don't all. care at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> like I would do magic tricks to celebrities or something like that. If there was a celebrity you could do a magic trick to, who would it be? <laughs> Bernie Sanders, man, come on, give me somebody. That would be. That cool. old dude, yeah. baby. Oh, I like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the next category. I love these folks. Uh, if you could bring back any person from the dead, or if you could bring any dead person back from the dead, who would it be? Let's start with Riley. Riley, you could probably go deep with this. Okay. I'm thinking Houdini because he's, you know, the world's greatest magician. Ooh. Yeah. Put up. I could talk to him about how to escape from a box underwater. And yeah. Magic and. You know, Life. learn from a real mentor, I guess, yeah. of some sort of... That'd be neat. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Alyssa, if you could bring back any person from the dead, who would it be? Probably Edgar Allan Poe. For sure. Have that up. I like that. I like that. Because he's a dark brother. Oh, yeah. Why would you do my man Edgar? Because I'd want him to, like, you know, write some stories for me and mm. help me out, and maybe I could reenact them for him. Oh, well, actress here. That would be... That would... Edgar, I, the brother's so dark. A, a telltale heart, that's still this. A telltale heart? Or a tell, a tell, tell. Telltale tell heart. A telltale, tell, tell, tell. tell, tell. Yeah. It's so disturbing. Uh, when he keeps hearing that beat of the heart, I just, I can't do it. Riley, like does that disturb yeah. you? I, I feel like nothing disturbs the magic man. Um, <laughs> a little bit, I think, I think what disturbs me most is, didn't that dude, like, do a lot of opium? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, uh, opium. Uh, hey, I, I don't know what to say to that. Riley knows a little more than I do about EAP. Uh, all right, all right, Opium. That was unfortunately the last category of the show. I love these folks. Would you clap it up for Riley and Alyssa one more time? Clap it up for them. They analyzed beautifully. Uh, we saw the magic man in his prime once again, and I'm so happy to have them. Uh, I love to end out every episode with a joke, but before we get to the joke, I need you two to plug your social media because we need people to find more out about you. So let's start with Alyssa. Alyssa, tell the viewer, how do we find you? Mm, Google. <laughs> Google. Wrap <laughs> it up for Google. I love it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Magic Man. Magic Man, give me something. You can find my YouTube at Riley Pro Magician. I do magic tricks on there. And it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Wonderful. I love these folks. They were amazing. A true honor and privilege to have them. I love to end out every episode with a joke. Now, do either of you fine folk have a joke that you would like to share with our viewers? A joke. A funny joke. Well, don't do me like that again. I don't have a joke. I think he does. He, he does. He has something he just, uh, behind him. No. Unless he got something. He just... <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Why was the baby strawberry crying? Oh. Baby strawberry crying? Because her parents were in a jam. Ah! All right, Riley. Get, come. <laughs> You're going to do the cricket live studio. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us once again. What an honor and a privilege it is to analyze the culture with you. Clap, live studio audience. Clap. I want you to continue to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We're going to see you on the next episode. So stay with us and stay with it. Thank you very much, folks.